What's happening, y'all? So in today's video, we're going to talk about Microsoft Clarity, one of my favorite tools ever to install on any landing page or any funnel and essentially have all the statistics in front of you, uh, know exactly how to make changes on the landing pages so that you can increase conversions. It will record everyone who visits that landing page will be recorded. Every click they do, where they scroll, where they hover their mouse, everything will be recorded and structured properly so that you can make the appropriate landing page changes to increase your conversions, okay? This can be installed on your website. This can be installed in your funnels, on your campaigns, whatever you want. And the beauty about it all is it's free. So if you like this video after watching how to set up Microsoft Clarity and how to use it and how to actually leverage it, then go ahead and like the video below, comment with any questions, and obviously subscribe if you wanna see more content like this, okay? So thank you so much for your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Please enjoy. At the end of the day, here's what you should do. Like definitely test it, make variations here. Open a new tab. Uh, yeah. Okay. And you should be going to this uh, website here called search up Microsoft Clarity. Okay, yes. Click on that. Yeah. It's a free tool. Okay. So you want to sign up or so once you're in, um, basically how this works is you take that code. Yeah. Okay. And you paste it on your landing pages, like your funnel. Right. So like, for example, go to that funnel you just showed me that you were like, is this good? Yeah. Great. Go to tracking code in the top left. Yeah. And then paste that. And then click save. Okay. And then click save, publish that. And then go back and then you go to the settings of the funnel and then paste it in the head tracking code as well. So and save. Now, anyone who visits this funnel, you're going to use Microsoft Clarity automatically will record how they behave on the page. See what I'm oh, saying? Wow. Okay. Yeah, it will determine... I will record where they click, where they hover their mouse, you know, where people are scrolling, where, you know, how people are behaving. Every individual session will be recorded as well. Yeah. Um. So like, yeah, now you have a tracking solution that will just record and make you understand how people are behaving on the landing page. It's a very viable solution. It's called Microsoft Clarity. Um. And like, let me show you here. I'll share my screen now and I'll show you exactly what you can expect with that. So here's like how it works. Microsoft Clarity. Okay. So you can see here, this person was on the page for one minute. Yeah. Uh, they clicked on one thing. They only visited one page, right? This one was on there for 41 seconds. This one was on there for 23 seconds, 30 seconds, right? You can kind of go through. This one had seven clicks. One minute he was on the page. He clicked seven times. You can see him clicking. You see the live clicks? Yep. Yeah. So you can see where he scrolls, where he clicks, like you see how he's scrolling? Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. So that's that's kind of how you need to look at it. Um and uh, and you'll be able to understand where people are dropping off. So this is this is individual recordings using Microsoft Clarity and it'll tell them so like this guy he visited page 2 of the funnel. Sorry, he visited 3 pages in the funnel, which means he bought. This guy was a purchaser in order for him to get to page 3, he would have had to purchase, right? Yeah. So Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. This was a 15 minute person, two clicks, right? This guy was on a uh, tablet, so you can see the different. This guy's on desktop, right? Etc. Uh, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, et you can also have heat maps, so this will be like, for example, on the actual page, you can see like wow. how many people are clicking, like on average, like aggregate, right? So you can see this is a click map, right? So now yeah. I want that's a click map. Here's a scroll map, so you can see a hundred percent of the users are loading this part of the screen. But when it gets to like here, it's only 50% of users stay, which means I can, by changing this part here, I have the ability to make sure that 50% more people are staying on the website and scrolling down. So I have to fix the above the fold because above the fold, 100% of users are loading. And then literally right to this button, it's 53% of the users are reaching this point of the page, yeah. which means I need to fix this part. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so that's how you read the data, like, you know, um, and then all the way down, let's see the retentions, only 13% of people hit, hit all the way down. Okay, so, and there's like recordings, heat maps, scroll maps, analytics, like you'll get pretty much everything you need. This is Microsoft Clarity, okay? 
Um, and uh, it's free at the end of the day. It's a beautiful solution. Highly recommend that you use it, um, especially now that you're getting into conversion campaigns. You're no longer doing lead forms, you know? So very important that you use Microsoft Clarity, install it on your funnels, on your landing pages, learn how people are behaving, and then optimize the landing pages accordingly to, to make sure that they're, you know, actually producing results. Got it. But I was going to ask you, like, Overall, is there like a is it like a framework like that that we should follow when designing a landing page at the end of the day? I know it's not like one size fits all. You got to test, right? But yeah. like in terms of like the purpose of landing page and what you should do to make sure what's a good one and what's a shit one, you know? Yeah, well, we can even do a Google search to like figure that out right now. So like, give me any niche you want. Like same thing. Let's let's put like real estate marketing. Same my niche. Okay, so give me a project. Um. Yeah, so it's uh, Mill and Creek, M I L E, and then uh, and Creek, C R E E yeah, condos. Okay. Yeah. Milton. So yeah. Here's Google Ads. Yeah. So the guy pretending to be the developer. This is a shit landing page. Do not create one like this. Next one. Yeah. Also shit. Wait, so what shit about it? Can you also yeah, yeah, like like what's like uh... I'm gonna show you a good one first and then you'll you'll understand. Alright, got you. Also garbage. They're just trying to copy the developer's website and pretend they're the developer. So here's a good one. Okay. It's literally like this one's shit, actually, like the way it like the design, but in terms of structure, this is how it needs to look. You need to have a a form here. You know, with a quick thing saying, do this, do this, do this. Here's some really good bonuses about it. And then here, just sign and fill it out. Because remember, go back to clarity, right? 50% of people dip over here. They're gone. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you don't have a form here or a way for them to convert, you just lost 50% of your traffic because no one's going to the form here. You get what I'm saying? 50% of the people are going to this point. You get what yeah. I'm saying? So... That's what you need on your landing page. Now, here, these are all not ads. I'm just going to use a different example. I'm just going to use a different niche. Let's just go with, um, you know, uh, maybe cleaning, commercial cleaning services, Toronto as an example, right? Let's see these guys. Okay, like, yeah, it's kind of still above the fold, this little form, but still not bad. Could be better. Uh, let's see this one. Nah. Okay, yeah. So no, these are all right. But you get the idea. So there's, so there's that type of landing page okay and then there's also basically like a form and then after some details and like all the other stuff with the project they can scroll down and read about it right and like on the first page you shouldn't like you should put the form basically you saying there's also like this one this style of landing page over mm -hmm. here Right, where it's just like an offer, right? Yeah. Survey and call to action. That's it. And yeah. if they click schedule call, it just loads the survey. So it's literally just, and there's nothing to do, no other action to take on the landing page. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is, this is called a squeeze page. Okay. Yeah. It's a simple page that gets people to just convert. You get what I'm saying? There's nothing else you can do. Right. Yeah. Um, so maybe you can set up your landing page like this and then maybe put like some pictures of the con on the bottom. Try it right at the end of the day, you know, you have to come and try. So you go here and you can see I'm running split tests as well. I'm not just fucking saying, oh, this one's good or this one's bad or whatever. Yeah. This one has a 13.9% opt-in rate versus this one, which has a 9.39% uh, opt-in rate. And this is the other one, right? So I'm running one similar to the way you're looking at it, right? You see? Yeah. It looks similar to yours, you know, but that one's only converting at 9%, right? Yeah. Uh, this one's converting at 14%. So 
So I'm obviously going to declare this one as the winner. Gotcha. And uh, move forward with this one.